Hi. I'm going to talk to you today about hydrocodone addiction. Have you ever been in pain and hurt so bad? Man. And you just didn't know what to get. You did not know what to take. Huh. Did you go get some Tylenol? Or did you go get a little ibuprofen? Or did it just hurt so severe that you had to have a painkiller, a real painkiller? This drug is illegal. This drug is legal and prescri prescribed by a physician every day. It's called a silent legal drug, and that is called hydrocodone. I have watched this. I have watched it happen over years from working in the pharmacy for 16 years. How this drug can get you can get addicted to this drug. Today I'm going to talk to you about a pill called hydrocodone. First I will give you the history, a little small history of hydrocodone. Next I will give you some ways of how the addiction gets started. And then watch, I will give you signs and watch how you become an addict. First, now that I have introduced you to our topics, let's start with the history. It came from German, a pharmaceutical company, label called Noel. Hydrocodone is an appropriate drug. Most people, I start off saying hydrocodone because hydrocodone really is like a generic name of Vicodin. It's, it's like if you have, if you ever have been on morphine or have been on um, morphine, oxycodone, it's like a cousin related to one of them, like, you know, my cousin, but it's not the strong drug, but it's in that family. It's sometimes used, yeah, like I say, it's, it's like, it's, like I say, it's used as an appropriate drug, and it, is, it was uh, found by Noah. The study by Nathan Edith said this drug, he, when they prevented this drug back here in the, back in Germany, as the German prevented it, they said they're going to use it just to pacify, you know, just use it as like Tylenol, like Tylenol or ibuprofen. They didn't think that it was going to go severe. But end up, they, when they got through saying it, they thought it was going to end up being, you know, just mild, but it ended up being really taking care of the pain. It's a painkiller. This drug also, when it when the hydrocodone, it's not, it's got, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like mixed with Tylenol. It's hydrocodone and it's Tylenol. You got different kind of drugs. These are the four, these are some of, it's not all, these are some of the four that I chose to bring you as name brand of hydrocodone. Vicodin is, is the name, like I say, is the name brand. Lortel is another hydrocodone. Lord, Lord said plus, it's a hydrocodone, but each one of these drugs, Norco, they have different strengths. Like I say, Vicodin can be 5, 5, for, five for 500. Lord Tab can be 7.5, 325, and each one of them have a mixture of Tylenol. Lord said plus, it's one of the good ones. It's one of, it can be, you can go for a 10, 325. People like that because it's almost close to that morphine or that oxycodone. <coughs> And of course, Norco, where well, you might see them when they write that on the prescription, they just, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's smooth sell. As, as, as we move through the 21st century, hydrocodone starts to, start to grow in our community as a problem. I've been talking about, I've been talking, I've been talking about hydrocodone, and now that I have told you some of the names of Vicodin, each, each come up, yeah, like I said, I'm moving, I'm sorry. Oh, each drug starts, some people get so confused about these drugs. I have, because I work in the pharmacy, when we, we fill a prescription, they may go to one doctor, they may go to another doctor. You might get a prescription for hydrocodone 5, 325 to, for your tooth day, <coughs> or you might go to the, another doctor and get a, Another prescription for a lower tab, and it'd be for your knee. So they think they can come in the pharmacy and get both of these prescriptions filled. <laughs> but uh, they, uh, uh, all that and behold, all fighting and, and lower tabs and hydrocodone works for the same thing. And people get a misunderstanding about hydrocodone. They really don't think that hydrocodone is 
is killing their pain. It's not killing the pain. All it's doing is, is, is supplying with your mind, is making, making you relax with your mind. Now that I have told you a little about hydrocodone, I am going to tell you the overusing of it as a prescribed prescription. First, the abuse. People love to abuse hydrocodone. A doctor prescribed prescriptions, and they, they strive according to 20, a person would love to get more. You know, this is how they first start. This is how they first start out. When you come get, get a hydrocodone, you know, you had these little injuries, and you might go ahead and get it, and it makes you feel good. But then you look back and say, hmm, how does addiction start? You, you start, you get the prescriptions, and then, you know, one doctor starts you out. You're fine. You're feeling good. Then you go back, and, oh, that, that was a good feeling for me. Let me go back. They start, looking, they start looking at every prescription and thinking that they can just get this prescription for this, break a bone, come back and get this, and that's how it gets started. You go over and over with the same process. Now that I have, learned, I have told you about a little addiction, I want to tell you about oh, I'm so scared. The, how you, when, you, when you become an addict. When you become an addict, you start hiding, and you start you start hiding the drugs, and you start stealing. You start taking the pills off the street, illegal drugs. You start, like I say, we're going back to the injuries. You start making excuses for trying to get the medications, and sometimes you don't realize it. You don't really realize it when you're on that, but you does. You just keep going. Now that I have told you a little about the, about the, oh, I'm so nervous. Now that I told you about the hydrocodone, I want to start telling you, I want to tell you, now that I have told you about the hydrocodone, let's conclude. Today I have told you about the, the drug names of hydrocodone. I have told you about the history and now the signs of addiction. The next time you are in the pain and you need a painkiller, would it be over the counter or ibuprofen, or would it be a silent addictive drug named hydrocodone? Always remember, read the label on your prescription bottle and follow directions. Never allow this prescription drug to take control of you.